Hey everybody, it's Rob from Playthroughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a guest video from Spidey Wing from the Steam version in the uh, mass production type Zeta Gundam. I'm re-recording this because I uh, spent my entire first recording of this uh, calling it the uh, prototype Zeta X1. It is not that. I had the skills right, I just had the names wrong. Proto Zeta X1 is a fairly good all-rounder raid. Uh, this mass production Zeta is a general with some interesting abilities like uh, a speed boost when uh, boosting in a straight line for long enough that also lets you fire while boosting and uh, cools down your weapons faster uh, while boosting as well. So, yeah, I kind of described it as a uh, prana condenser uh, for those who have seen uh, uh, Shin Mask Rider. And if you haven't, I believe it's on Amazon Prime Video and it is very much worth, worth watching. I hope one day it gets a uh, physical release, because I like collecting physical releases of things. But I've also heard apparently a lot of the uh, Gundam Blu-rays are about to go out of print, except for like the newest things like uh, Cooker's Doan's Island and uh, Witch from Mercury. So yeah, if you're uh, looking for uh, any Gundam on Blu-ray, now is probably a really good time. But, okay, yeah, so good sh uh, good shot while boosting. It did not connect, but the person behind Spidey managed to get the stun, and that uh, uh, let the team get that kill. Super Gundam's on the ground. Something's stabbing Spidey in the back. And, yeah, in addition to the uh, fire while boosting skill, yeah, uh, hip guns were overheated from the last attack, so somebody else got that kill. But in addition to that, it does have a uh, radiation beam, uh, or irradiation beam, uh, sustained damage beam, whatever you want to call it. Now, again, the uh, term in the Gundam Versus series is Garo B, which basically means beam barf, and it's, yeah, it just, like, it's the kind of beam that just keeps doing damage for as long as it, it, it touches you. Uh, mass Production Zetas is not super powerful. It can do about 4,500, I think, maybe a little more if it, if the whole attack connects, but it's, yeah, it's a very, uh, you know, it's a, it's a very like restrained application of uh, that uh, that weapon style compared to some of the early ones. Good downswing on the Balu, and yes, it also does have the uh, uh, Zeta Gundam style beam bayonet built into its rifle. Which, as you can see, when somebody's not expecting you to be able to reach them, you can get some good shots in. It is a really good uh, weapon. Landed the downswing on the Balu. Shakushiki got Spidey, but yeah, did some good damage before. Uh, before uh, he got taken out, so oh, gun of unit four boosters. What's got it? What got him? I thought there was a Shiki and a and a Bawu there. Oh well, that may just be me not paying enough attention. That happens, like when I have to re-record an entire voiceover because I had the mobile suit by the wrong name. There are uh, the X two and X three of the uh, prototype Zeta Gundam. Uh, respectively have uh, Rick Diaz and Nemo style heads. That would be a good way to get like a whole, you know, like triangle built of those in, in you know, the game's uh, type system. So we'll see if that happens in the future. I would not mind more of them. Like, I, f I feel like in terms of just series, and yeah, there was a good hit with the uh, Garabi for 4,500. I'm pretty sure that was like the full, uh, uh, full extent of the uh, beam uh, connecting there. It was funny too. I had a, I had a uh, Japanese player just uh, respond to one of my videos, just kind of laughing that, uh, that you know the term Garabi had ma uh, made it to uh, the English speaking pl uh, player base. But you know, it's, it's 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 a cool sounding word and it's you know nice and short and uh, makes the point. So, but and I have totally voided my brain as to what I was talking about before this. But that was a good tackle. And oh yeah, I was gonna say I. A uh, good kill there, too, with follow-up. Um, I feel like First Gundam is my favorite Gundam series, but in terms of mechanical design, Zeta is, is my favorite. I, I feel like they had some really great mechanical design in Zeta. And, yeah, so... Brain. Yeah, uh, Brain just kind of uh, bottomed out, but I am uh, trying to actually stay focused on the round this time, which would be, like, the smart way to do it, because that's what's happening in front of me. But yeah, there's the firewall boosting skill. And like I said, I believe uh, cooldowns are also increased while that skill is in effect. So, And somebody is... Okay, somebody abandoned their mobile suit underwater. And uh, and good shot there from, uh, from the... Uh, 
I'm not sure which uh, suit that was, or which person that was that took it out. I think it was the uh, Zero Shiki Amuro Ray type, which, yeah, um, it does not have any kind of weapon lock it, uh, or, you know, funnel skills, anything like that. So, yeah, that was a really good manual shot that took down that pilot. So, let's see, about three minutes to go, 98.20 to 81.50. I should know better than to say actual numbers, but, yeah, going pretty well so far. That looks like a pretty clear shot that I was hoping it would hit multiple things. But yeah, as you can see, you know, variations based on beam defense. But yeah, about 4,500 uh, in that ballpark is the standard for when the uh, when the radiation beam hits. And let's see. Um, oh yeah, uh, the, it will probably uh, it it may pro uh, maybe. Uh, Worth knowing for uh, folks out there that uh, Gundam Breaker 4 is in, on sale for the holidays in multiple places. It is uh, uh, generally running at twenty nine ninety nine. those places I looked, so uh, for a physical copy. And yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's excellent, in fact. You know, I... Well, I bought the collector's edition, so I, you know, I'm not a good, uh, I'm, I'm maybe not the most reliable judge of value here, but I really have enjoyed that game. I will finish the last DLC chapter at some point when my brain is functional. Um, that's kind of a broad time frame, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, let's see, good downswing. It did unfortunately hit an ally, but it uh, knocked this person down. I believe, since I think they had type advantage, uh, Spidey had type advantage, which means that was probably Conroy Jagan, which, you know, a uh, scourge of feet everywhere, so good thing to have down and out. Let's see, that is a... Okay, that is an, an uh, enemy Fyakushiki. I forgot, for one thing, that there's not uh, any on uh, Spidey's team. It is kind of hard sometimes for me to tell, like, offhand, what is an abandoned ally or enemy mobile suit uh, just at, at a given moment. It went past because that gave a little time to uh, set up and make sure hopefully you wouldn't get uh, uh, countered. But yeah, unfortunately it was good use of the uh, bayonet there. I think it did knock down, yeah, it did knock down uh, number five, but uh, let's see. But I have totally lost my train of thought again. Boy, I'm good at that tonight. I'm good at that most nights, but yeah, today is just... Today is just extra brain malfunction, apparently. But yeah, as you can see, the side reach on that downswing is really good. And it uses the version of the downswing that the original Zeta Gundam has, where it starts with the stab and then goes with the sweep, which I find much more useful because the stab is more focused. It's a lot easier to, uh, you know, aim it pr uh, pretty sharply first and then hit everything, you know, around as you go by. But... Yeah, that was a good round. And let's see what uh, see what the final numbers look like. Uh, let's see the uh, uh, I think it's the Gundam Unit Four took uh, top score, but Spidey did five and one and one hundred and five thousand damage and came in second for overall score. So yeah, that was a really good one. And that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation Two. We will be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later. But yeah, I had possibly the most annoying bit of latency I have ever had in GBO2 today. Um, I was fighting something. It was, I forget what I, I was in the Zaku F2 at cost 400 trying to uh, get around with that. And I was trying to downswing something. I downswung. I got stunned out of the downswing. And then my downswing got countered by the thing I was trying to swing while I was stunned. Like, I don't... I don't necessarily swear at this game a lot. Well, not a lot, a lot. But that was definitely a moment, because that, that is... There is just no excuse for that. That was ridiculous.